Tips from a Mechanic Part 2. Buying Used Cars Part 2. There was a comment on my previous video from a salesman. I can't find it now, but he said, I don't have time to let people take it for inspections. There's no way. It's, that's a total deal breaker. Okay, fair enough. That's his prerogative. But there are things you can do on the lot that will help you. I'll give you an example. This would be a very real world, a world example where you have a car is all jammed in like this. And they go, can I have a look at it? And he goes, yeah, sure, here's the keys. Not to be overly simplistic, but does it start? And pull it away from the other cars a little bit so you can at least look at it. Oh, yeah. And before you get to the dealership, bring a flashlight. This gem of an 08 Cobalt was donated to me. I know nothing about it, so this is actually more real world than you'd think. And this one's a bit of a controversy. The first thing I do, is it clean? Someone's, is it clean? I know it's not the end all be all, but particularly when you're selling it, like this one's not too bad, you know, like there's some, you know, but it's not bad. It's not full of garbage and crap, because usually, in my opinion, if it's full of crap, it means they don't give a shit about it. If you can't be bothered to throw out your Diet Coke cans, are you really concerned about the condition of the wheel bearings? Open the hood, take a look. Same thing, cleanliness, any obvious oil leaks. This is where your flashlight comes in. Look down. Like, is, there, is it pouring out oil? And if you can see it, this is a big one. You can visually see, you don't have to be an expert, if you can see any damage to the frame or the bumperettes or anything like that where the safety collapse areas have been damaged, rad supports bent, stuff like that. Obvious visual cues. On these wheels, you can't really see in the brakes, but you can see in there. See? Rust, corrosion, that kind of crap. That would be a trigger for me to go, hmm. Put your knee on the bumper. Get it bouncing. It should go up, down, that's it. One and a half oscillations, that's it. If it keeps bouncing like Uncle Buck's car, worn out, man. Obvious things. Do the lights work? Does the engine make a weird ticking sound you don't understand? Anything that comes up as a red flag might be time to move on if you have other options. Or be aware of the fact you're going to have a bit of a bill at, at the point of purchase. If he wants five grand, you say, look, it needs two grand worth of work. I'll give you thirty-two fifty or something like that. Just a few simple tips to help protect yourself when buying used cars and they won't let you take it to a certified mechanic for a 100 point inspection or whatever. Hope this helps. Have a good day.